guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is september 8 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys we have an urgent information coming out please share this video a state of emergency has been declared in southern california line fire in southern california double in size forcing thousands to evacuate a state of emergency is declared Southern California is seeing a lot of stuff. Earthquake, ground movement, wildfire, multiple evacuation, multiple state of emergency. You need to leave ASAP. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Before we start, let's read the verse of the day. This is from the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. What a powerful promise. If we are willing to generously share with others in the name of Jesus, as the Apostle Paul discusses in the previous verses, we will also have what we need to bless others, and our lives will be full of good deeds that bring glory to God and His blessing to many. So let's remind ourselves of one of the first lessons we should have learned as young children. Share. Share what we have. Share generously. Only this time, as children of God, let's share in the name of Jesus to bless others so they receive his grace in tangible ways. Amen to that. I'm going I'm to post in the comments box. It will be the only link in the comments box. Louisiana is under a cybersecurity emergency. Must protect November. November alert. This here is trending. You have those new people that are coming from the southern region. Well, one of them um, to plead guilty. Look at this. To steal a sleeping giant identity to go out in, in November. Angelica, 42, has reached a plea agreement with the DOJ admitting that stealing a sleeping giant identity, social security, to go out November, in multiple November, and obtain a passport. Angelica, who, who used the identity to go out in November, when I say November, <clears throat> voting. No, uh, in November in Alabama 2016 and 2020, will plead guilty to multiple charges, including aggravated identity theft. Has declared another state of emergency. This time, wildfire. And there is movement still going on out there. In Southern California, the ground is shaking. There's some aftershock. Please prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. And please check out the videos I posted today, guys. The link will be in the comments box. A new map. There's a new map. 
released by the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection shows a rapidly expanding line fire stretching across San Bernardino County, threatening thousands of homes and critical infrastructure. The fast-growing wildlife, excuse me, wildfire in Southern California has prompted governor to declare a state of emergency as authority rushed to contain the blaze. Another state of emergency. Look at this map. Look at this map. Can someone let me know in the comments box, is this close to Rancho Ve uh, Palo Verdes? Is this close to it? I mean, it's got to be like uh, maybe an hour, two hour drive, maybe. Strong winds and dry condition have fueled the fire, which began on Thursday evening and as of Saturday evening had already scorched more than 7,000 acres. The line fire is currently predicted to affect over 17,000 acres of land. Wow. Residents in affected areas, including highlands, have been ordered to evacuate. As firefighters struggle to create containment um, lines, the exact cause of the fire is still under investigation. The governor issued the emergency declaration late Saturday afternoon, unlocking additional state resources and personnel to assist firefighters and securing federal assistance to support the response to the line fire. So basically, um, I thank the president. Do we have one? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I thank <laughs> Joey Joey for his swift approval. He's on vacation, by the way. He's on vacation. Uh, swift approval of support for the work of a fi our firefighter and first responders battling this event and protecting local communities. It's critical that residents in the impacted areas remain vigilant and prepare to evacuate immediately if called for by local authorities, he said in a statement. It goes on to say that uh, it was also announced that California has secured a fire management assistance grant from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to help secure, uh, excuse me, to help ensure the availability of vital resources to, uh, to suppress fire. The Frontline Wildfire Defense also issued a map showing the vast expanse of areas affected by the latest fires. The fire map shows a dangerously wide perimeter with the blaze creeping closer to populated areas. Y'all need to get out. Y'all need to leave ASAP. Evacuation order had been issued by the San Bernardino County Sheriff Department for the following areas. Y'all need to get out. These are the areas right here. The area from Calle del Rio to Highway 38, including Green Spot on uh, Road North, are under development land east of Highway 330 to Summer Trail Place and north of Highland Avenue. The areas of Running Spring East of Highway 330 and south of Highway 18. The communities of Running Springs and Arrow Bear Lake. The area east of or Orchard road to uh, Clover Hill from Highland Avenue north to the foothills, north of Highland Avenue and east of Palm Avenue to Highway 330. As reported by the Associated Press, around 500 firefighters, wow, were battling the blaze, supported by water dropping helicopters that hovered over homes and hillsides, along with aircraft the fire department said that the blaze had the potential for large fire growth. The San Bernardino blaze is one of the most severe of California 2024 fire season, which has already been marked by extreme heat waves and prolonged drought. The conditions have created a tinderbox environment, increasing the likelihood of major wildfires. Air quality has also become a concern in areas surrounding the fire, with thick smoke spreading across large parts of affected areas. Residents are advised to visit firecali.ca.gov for real-time information on active fires and ready.ca.gov 
for California uh, for information on how to prepare for emergency extreme weather. California map shows line fire as Newsom declares state of emergency. California is seeing a lot. California is really seeing a lot. Line fire in Southern California double in size, forcing thousands to evacuate. There's no earthquake going on, no aftershock, nothing. Everything's happening here in the southern part. There's no earthquake. State of emergency has been declared in San Bernardino to support crew fighting uh, the line fire now over 7,000 acres. That has changed. That number is way up there now. That number's up. That number's up. Uh, okay, I totally apologize guys Okay, I truly apologize Okay, for some reason um, the audio was bad There we go I don't know why that audio was turned off Okay, so Hopefully this didn't affect the video that much, but this uh, this here was off. This audio here was off. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, you might see a little clip, maybe it's muted, but I just don't want to restart this video. This was a long video. This was a very long video, guys. So, um, but uh, again, please share it and thank you so much for watching. Uh, it seems like everything's good now. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good now. It does happen to us YouTubers. But one thing we don't want to do, we don't want to, uh, yeah, we don't want to restart the video. That's, that's a big headache. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. 
Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.